Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it has been a while, life has happened, but I'm here now, so let's talk some makeup, shall we? So if you read the title of the video, you know what you're in for today. Um, basically, we're gonna be talking about how to apply some natural looking freckles and then also how to do some colored freckles which are most definitely inspired by Dominique D'Angelo from Battlelash here on YouTube. Um, if you've seen her work or even Amber Dean who inspired me and kind of I picked up a lot of tricks from doing my natural freckles from her. Um, seriously you guys check both of them out. They're such incredible artists. I'm constantly looking to them for um, inspiration if I'm just like out of ideas on what to do for her makeup. They're both really, really talented. So with that being said, uh, let's jump into this, okay? So I'm gonna be doing the colored freckles first. Um, the products I'm gonna be using for them are the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks. I'm specifically going to be using these four shades here. Um, so I have uh, Red Rum, Unicorn Blood, Jawbreaker, and Abused. Um, I'm gonna be kind of mixing them together to do some blue and purple freckles. I will be using a, uh, what is this thing called? A palette to mix all of my colors. You can also just use the back of your hand. It doesn't really matter. Um, I just find that the uh, liquid lipsticks tend to stain a bit and I just don't want, I don't know, stains in the back of my hand, so I'm using palette. Um, and then, uh, the two brushes that I use for my freckles are the Real Techniques Fine Liner Brush here. Uh, you can get these at most drugstores. I'm pretty sure you guys all know where you can get Real Techniques. I don't really need to get into it. If you don't though, comment down below and I'll give you a little bit more information. Um, and then the other one I use is just a Krylon Professional Art Brush. It's just a paintbrush, guys. Um, it's a really fine tip point. I still don't know how to get this thing to focus. Um, but it's just a really fine tip point uh, paintbrush. Um, and yeah, so I kind of go back and forth between these two guys so they can get different shapes and sizes for the freckles. So anyways, enough talking, let's do the color freckles. Okay, so I basically put a little bit of each color uh, onto the palette, and then I'm just gonna be using a palette knife. You can use a butter knife or anything you have kicking around the house just to kind of mix them together um, as you want the colors to blend. Uh, so first I'm going to be picking up the Real Techniques um, accent brush or what is it called? Fine, fine liner brush, not the accent brush. The accent brush is different. Oh, that was the other thing I forgot to say. Um, I don't have Jeffree Star's Drug Lord yet. I'm absolutely dying. That is the face of dying um, because it is the most beautiful, pure white color and it is awesome for mixing. I have yet to get my hands on it. Um, so I'm also going to be using for the colored freckles um, just a Krylon Aqua Color, which is just like a water based paint to kind of mix together um, as well with those colors just to kind of lighten them if I so desire, which I probably will want to sort of make them lighter and shit. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna start with um, the cheekbones. You'll notice um, with the colored freckles and the way I do the natural freckles, because the colored freckles are colorful, um, <laughs> I'm not gonna put them on the way natural freckles would occur. Um, so you'll see how when I do the natural freckles, the placement is a little bit different but because these are colored, um, they're already not gonna look natural, so you really don't need to put them where natural freckles would commonly occur. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda go ham, but I'm gonna start on my cheekbone anyways. So I've got a little bit of Jawbreaker with a little bit of the white aqua color, and I'm just gonna start dotting that just kind of on my cheekbone. Whoa, you cannot see that. Hang on one sec. The blue is a little bit hard to see here. Um, I tried to adjust the lighting the best I could, um, but you'll be able to see it a bit better when I start picking up the other colors anyways. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of 
dotting those on there. And then I think around my nose here. So I just have freckles like that so far. So with a little bit of the Jawbreaker, which still has a little bit of the white in it, and the Red Brown, which is that bright red, um, I'm just gonna kinda start dotting again in the same places, but kinda going in between the dots that I already did. I, that I have already done. I can't speak English today. So just sort of like that. So yeah, you can see that some dots are a little bit bigger um, than the others. Um, some have a little bit more white in them than the blue. It's, it is a little bit hard to tell on camera. Um, I'll, I'm gonna post some pictures after of how this looks and everything anyways. Uh, but as you can see, look, they're not perfect circles. That's okay though, because I mean, I say that the colored freckles shouldn't look natural. Um, because they're colored so they're not gonna look natural anyways but at the same time it doesn't matter it would look weird if they were perfect circles so like natural freckles um, they're not perfect circles so this would I would say would be like the one sort of like natural aspect to these that there is if that also makes sense I feel like I'm not making any sense today then I'm gonna go in with the um, Krylon paintbrush here I'm gonna take some of the um, abused and unicorn blood which are the dark red and that dark purple I'm gonna put a little bit more of the unicorn blood into it though and I'm also gonna mix some red rum just to kind of give it a bit more brightness so it doesn't look like just black on the skin um, and then again same kind of areas uh, this brush in particular is a lot finer than the Real Techniques brush. So it makes a really um, nice kind of small dots. <laughs> and then I'm also gonna put some under the brow here, which is another Dom. Uh, so this is what I'm talking about with the placement of freckles. Normally natural freckles you wouldn't get there. Unless you do. I don't know. I've never seen natural freckles there. If you have natural freckles and you get them there, let me know. Uh, and then I'm just going to go back again with the Real Techniques brush. And some more of that light blue. So they almost just look kind of like colored confetti on your face. Um, but I think it's really cool. I think I'm going to put some more under the eye as well so it kind of like pulls it up a bit. But yeah, you really just, I don't know, kind of go at your own pace, do what you feel like, I don't know, looks good to you. I'm never really going off by any sort of rules or whatnot. I'm just kind of doing it. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to tell you about the colored freckles. I'm just going to zoom out a bit here. So yeah, that is the colored freckles on one side of my face. Um, it's a little unorthodox, I will admit, um, but if you're looking for something fun to do for any particular reason or you just want to give it a go, um, go right ahead. It's kind of fun looking. I don't mind it actually. I kind of like it. 
I'm gonna try out some different colors too. Um, but definitely the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks are an awesome product to use for that, I will say. Um, yeah, now let's uh, do some more natural looking ones. All right, so I cleaned the colored freckles off of this side because I'm actually gonna be doing the natural freckles all over my face uh, because I'm going to wear them out today. Um, I actually do this a lot. Um, and a lot of people don't really notice it, but every once in a while people will be like, do you have something? Is there something? And they can't quite figure it out, and I'm like, it's freckles. I put freckles on my face. And they're like, what, what, what? I don't get it, but whatever. I like to do it. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Um, for my natural freckles, I use Anastasia Dip Brow, which is a brow pomade, um, which I use on my brows anyways. Um, but I use two different colors. Um, I use the blonde, and then I also use, actually that's kind of what I use three. Um, so I use blonde, taupe, and then a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of the ash brown um, for like filling in my little like beauty mark here, which is like faintly there, but I like to fill it in anyways because I like to channel my like Marilyn Monroe-esque personality. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to zoom in and then we can get started with that. Okay, so I still use the same two brushes that I used for the colored freckles, the Real Techniques and the Krylon paintbrush. Um, so um, I'm gonna go in first with the blonde dip brow with the Real Technique, the Real Techniques brush. Um, and I'm just gonna dip it in there. Uh, and then just wiping the excess off on the lid. Um, so here's what I was talking about with the natural or more realistic placements of natural looking freckles. So generally you get freckles uh, where you'd get sunburnt, if that makes sense. So where you have the most sun exposure. So on the higher points of your face. So the bridge of your nose, the tops of your cheeks, the top of your forehead. I personally don't like putting fake freckles on my forehead just because I feel like it doesn't on me translate like freckles. It just looks like acne. So um, I just do it on my cheeks and my nose. So I will start with the tops of the cheeks. And I hope you guys can see this because I know with the colored freckles it was kind of hard to see. So it might just translate better in photos, especially because I'm using the blonde dip brow, which isn't that dark. Um, so we'll just have to see. But yeah, basically I just start dotting that on. And it's, yeah, you're not gonna be able to see it, but <laughs> it's super faint, but like with the colored freckles, um, you don't want them all to be the same size. And generally, um, freckles naturally will um, form in clusters. So you'll kind of get like a little cluster here, like that's kind of what I do is I'll do like a little cluster here and then like a little cluster on the side and kind of on this side. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more though for you guys. So I'm just kind of pressing the brush on, kind of tapping it on that and then it'll just sort of create kind of a faint really faint sort of dot um, like how a natural freckle would normally be anyways and then if I want to darken any of those ones up I just go in with uh, the taupe because it's a little bit darker So you can kind of see them a little bit more pronounced now. And then I'll go and do the same with this side. And then if I go too heavy handed on them, um, a trick that I got from Amber Dean is that you can just take a beauty blender or a sponge and then just kind of dab over it. You could do it with your fingers too. Um, but if you have even a little bit of it's like way too much product, you can take a little bit of um, powder on the sponge, like how you would do with baking, like spritz the sponge with a little bit of like Fix Plus or Mist and Fix to make forever, and then a little bit of powder and just sort of bake over top of it, brush off the excess, and then go in again with the, um, 
the dip brow and just kind of redefine any ones that you've lost um, because that's a good way of kind of toning them down and erasing them almost. And so then when it comes to my nose, um, I'll kind of just do a little bit here. Not as many as I do on the cheekbones though, because I feel like it just looks a bit more natural when they're a little bit um, more clustered on the cheekbones. And then I do have little like sunspots that are really hard to see, but I can kind of, I just know where they are because I'm used to seeing my skin without makeup on all the time. Um, so I'll kind of just like put the dip brow almost over top of where those dots naturally are. And then I find that just makes it a little bit more realistic as well. You can kind of see a little bit of the blue from the colored freckles still. So I'll have to get rid of that. But that just goes to show you how good Jeffree Star of Lure Liquid Lipsticks are because they stay on that well. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty much just going back and forth between um, the same as the color freckles, going back and forth between the two brushes, going back and forth between the blonde and the taupe dip brow, um, and then I'll show you what I mean about using the darker one for my beauty mark. Okay, so for my beauty mark, again, you're not going to be able to see it very well, um, but I know where it is. So I'm going to fill it in first using the Krylon, the more precise brush, um, and the blonde. And then some days I will just leave it at that. Um, but then most days I like it a little bit darker and just a bit more pronounced. So I'll take like the tiniest bit of the ash brown on that brush as well. And then just kind of tap it in the middle of it almost to kind of make it look like it's got two colors. It just looks a little bit more realistic that way. Um, in a fake freckle kind of way. Uh, yeah. So yeah, basically I'll just kind of go over and like look and see how I like the freckles, if I want to like put any more on, put any less on. Like I said with the colored ones, it's just what you like. There's really no rules. Um, and that's just kind of what I like about makeup in general is that I don't ever kind of go by the way you should do things. And you guys shouldn't either too. I mean, Yes, there are certain things you want to follow in a sense, but the fun thing about freckles is that it's just, just very like, do what you want to do. Like there's no, yes, you should do this and no, you shouldn't do that. It's yeah. So anyways, if that made any sense to you, if you enjoyed this in any way whatsoever, let me know. So like I said, thanks again for watching. Um, I hope this freckle tutorial was in some way informative for you. Um, definitely check out Dominique's page and Amber Dean's page. I will link them both below. They also have Instagram pages as well. Um, so yeah, if you like this and you want to see more of this stuff, like the video, subscribe, you know what to do, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.